Well, good morning, YouTube subscribers. I've got a little project going on in the shop today that I thought would be a good opportunity to do some math lessons. I know there's some seventh graders out there that follow my YouTube channel, and I also know that there's some seventh graders out there that don't pay attention too well in math class. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go through a little uh, discussion here on this project about why you need to pay attention in math class. Because we're going to go through and show you how to figure out some of these angles, some of the measurements, and we're going to subtract and add fractions, different kinds of fractions. So we're going to have to come up with common denominators. We're also going to show you how, uh, using Pythagorean theorem, how you can make sure that a square or a rectangle with 90 degree corners is perfectly square. So you stay tuned and you're going to learn something today and you're going to find out why it's really important to just pay attention in math class. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 2 over 1 times 3 over 16. So that's going to multiply 3 16 times 2 for each side. So that's going to equal 6 16. Now, we're going to reduce that. How do we reduce that? Well, we know both bottom and top can be divisible by 2, so that's going to be wind up being 3 eighths. So we've got to have 25 and a half plus 3 eighths. So 25 and a half plus 3 eighths is going to equal 25 and what? Well, we have different fractions here. So how many eighths is a half? A half is 4 eighths. So we're going to add 25 and 4 eighths plus 3 eighths is going to equal 25 and 7 eighths. Now, that's the minimum it could be. So we're going a little extra play. So we're going to make this a half inch longer. So we have a little extra play on each side to put the machine in there. So we're going to add an extra half inch plus one half. Oh gosh, now we've got this all over again. So we've got to change this to four eighths and we're going to add it. So this becomes 25 and seven eighths plus four eighths. So it becomes 26 and three eighths. So that's how long we have to cut these pieces right here to allow to account for the 25 and a half that it can be minimum, add a little extra, a half inch, plus the 3 eighths accounting for the two pieces of 3 sixteenths sides. So, there, we just went through some uh, addition of some fractions and some common denominators. Stay tuned. All right, we've got our mark right there at 26 and 3 eighths. So now we'll go ahead and cut the final piece. Now we're going to go back to our drawing and figure out how long these pieces need to be. They go on this side. And what we need there is we need 22 and a half. And we want to add a half an inch. So that's going to be 22 plus 1 half equals 22 and a half. Right? Now, you might say, um, well, you've got to add for the 3 sixteenths like we did the other time. Well, no, we don't, because these pieces are going to butt right up against to the inside here, to the inside of those uh, end pieces we cut, so we don't have to add 3 sixteenths to each side for these. So these are going to be 22 and a half, and we need um, two of those. Okay, now what we need to do is these two pieces here are going to go back to back to one another. It's going to connect the two sections together. And we're going to do that with some bolts. And I need to put five bolts in here and I want them all equally spaced. So what I'm going to do is first we're going to find the middle. And we've got, these are 23 and a quarter. So I've got 23 and one quarter and I need to divide that by two. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to divide 23 in two is 11 and a half. 
and then one quarter divided by two is one eighth. So we've got to add one eighth. So that gives us 11 equals 11 and a half. Now we've got to convert to fractions again. So we've got 11 and 4 eighths plus 1 eighth. So that's going to be 11 and 5 eighths. And that's going to be the very middle. So we'll go over here to 11 and 5 eighths. And we'll mark it right there. Okay, that's the middle of these two pieces. Now we've got to put a bolt there and a bolt here. And we want them to be the same distance from each other. We're also going to bring our first bolts going to come in one inch from each end. So one inch on that end and one inch on that end. Now we're going to put one in the middle of each of these. So where that's going to leave us, we've got, so we're 11 and 5 eighths to the middle. We're going to come in one inch on each side from right here, one inch. So that leaves us 10 and 5 eighths. So we need to divide 10 and 5 eighths by two. So when we do that, 10 and 5 eighths divided by 10 and 5 eighths divided by 2 equals 5 and what's half of 5 eighths? It would be 5 sixteenths. So that should be the center between those two. And now we'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, so we've got our rectangle set up. We've got it pretty, uh, pretty square. What we have here is we basically have two right triangles up there down like this and over and then down here and like this and over. We've got 90 degrees in each corner. So now how would we know if it's perfectly square? If two right triangles are have all the exact same side lengths then the diagonals, the hypotenuse for each right triangle should be equal. So we're going to check that. So we're going to go over there we're going to go over here to this very corner and we see it's 30, 35 inches. And we're going to go over here and measure this one. And we see that it is also exactly 35 inches. So that means that this rectangle is perfectly square. So we're going to go ahead and tack this up now and start on the other one. Okay, the next thing we need to do here for our project is we've got to figure out how big this piece right here needs to be to accommodate these casters and keep the platform three quarters of an inch above the floor. It's so right there. From there to there we want three quarters of an inch. We know that the casters are four and one eighth of an inch from the very bottom right here clear to the top of this little plate right there. This is the top of the caster. So we go over here and we've got four and eighth minus three quarters equals uh, three and three eighths. Okay? And then we know that we've got one and a half inches from here to here. That's the dimensions of that steel that we're using uh, for the basically base of the platform. So that's one and a half. So we go over here and we subtract one and a half. One and a half equals one and seven eighths. All right, so that's what we've got to cut. This piece right here, it's got to be one and seven eighths of an inch to get us from right here to where this piece is going to come on to which we're going to bolt the casters to it. And that will give us, uh, it'll be four and an eighth of an inch from here to the ground, and that'll give us three quarters of an inch clearance on our platform above the floor. All right, here's a little progress update. Uh, we've got this pretty well put together as far as the mobile base is concerned. Uh, it's all welded up. Uh, these areas right here, this is where the casters will go. And here, casters will go in there and on the end. This would actually be the front. Of the, saw, the table saw will be here. So that's where um, the table, front of the table saw will be where I'm standing. And then the motor and the outfeed on the back. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to make some brackets to allow for an outfeed table to be attached to the other side. The way we're going to do that is we're going to weld some little ears right here. We're going to weld on uh, five of them and we're going to cut some uh, quarter inch pieces that will weld right in here. So what we've got to do is we've got to figure out how long this piece of material here has to be. 
And for you seventh grade boys that should be paying attention to math class, you'd be able to figure that out. So what we've got, as we said, we got 36 inches from the back of the table here to there. And we know over here that we're 34 and 3 quarter inches high from the, uh, the bottom of the base right here. So how are we going to calculate the length of this bar? We're going to use Pythagoras' theorem. So this 36, this is one side of our right triangle, and 34 and 3 quarters is the other side of our right triangle. So we know 36 squared plus 34 and 3 quarters squared is going to equal the hypotenuse squared. Right? Now, so I just so happen to know that this is, I think, like 1,206 or something like that, or 1,250, something on that order. I haven't, I did the math earlier. You can check me if you want. And then plus, and 34 and 3 quarters squared, I think is like 1,206, something, if I remember right. So that all equals about 2,500. And the square root of 2,500 is, drum roll, 50. All right, so we're going to be roughly 50 inches here. But we know we've got to attach some ends on here and an end down here. So we're going to subtract a few inches from that. And I think I'm going to cut these, these supports to about 44 inches. And that will give us enough uh, to attach an end here, to attach there and an end to attach there. All right, so that's what the plan is for today. So stay tuned. Okay, we've got it pretty well set up here. And that's what it's gonna fit. And for those seventh grade boys out there, see if you can count how many right angles there are here. Anyway, a little project, why you need to pay attention to the seventh grade math class so you can make stuff like this and make it fit properly, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed this math lesson. Make sure you pay attention next time. Well, there's the final application. Got the saw on it and the extension table on. Fits just perfect and rolls really, really nice. So that'll, uh, that'll work out real well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.